Hey everybody, Chad Schimmel here at Turner's Warehouse and I wanted to briefly talk about collet chucks. Uh, what you might use them for and how they work, a quick explanation. So this is your basic collet chuck. This is a Beal collet chuck. Uh, this is a one inch by eight, which fits right onto your lathe headstock like this. And it uses ER32 collets. So what is a collet? This is a collet and it's essentially a spring loaded uh, round, I don't know the right word, enclosure that when tightened up will will evenly collapse and close onto your item. So how a collet chuck works is uh, you put the collet in, tighten up the nut, and put your item in. Now there's a key thing that you need to know here, and this is a common mistake with beginners. Most will put the collet in, put the nut on it, and then try to use it. And the problem with this is when you do that, the collet is not set and it will not tighten up correctly and it's not gonna be uh, flat and even. So what you have to do is take the collet and there's a little ring inside the collet nut here and this fits in and just snaps in and you kind of heard that little snap and you can see that the collet won't fall out now because that, that ring, to get it out, you just pop it the other way. This is set into this inner lip. So I'll put that back in. Then you can put the collet onto the chuck part and tighten it up. You see that this is nice and flat and flush. And when I put this in, it's gonna be precise. You can loosen it up. And then when I tighten it down, it's gonna be evenly tightened all the way around. And that's what this is for. This is a more precise way to hold things. Now this would be, uh, if you were making kitless pens, this is a great way to hold blanks. You may have to size your blank down to the collet you have or buy additional collets if you want to use different sizes. We also use a collet chuck to hold our ring mandrel. This is a one half inch straight shank. We have a half inch collet in there. Loosen it up, put it in, tighten it down, and that gives us a nice precision round motion versus a traditional wood chuck that might have a little skew to it. So this is just a more precise way to hold things very well. Thanks for watching.